Hello everyone. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can sell a share from your holdings. In my previous video, I have shown you to uh, purchase how to purchase a share and on the same day, I am showing you how to sell a share that is already in your holdings. So for now, the share that I purchased today is still not showing in holdings because it will show after midnight. Okay, today is midnight. Uh, it will show in my holding section and after two days, it will get transferred to my DMAT account. Correct? For now, see, I have Merico 13 quantity in my holdings that is in my DMAT account. I want to sell one share from my holdings. It can be any share, it can be any quantity. Simply, you have to go to your holdings, select the share you want to sell, click on the sell button. And very important, you have to select the exchange on which you want to sell. You can select any exchange. So for example, I'm going with NSE. Okay, so here it will ask you first of all the quantity. So I am willing to sell only one quantity. So I will fill as one order complexity again simple. Now order complexity is simple. We want to sell it order type. Okay, very important. We want to sell our share at the current market price. That's why we have chosen market. Otherwise, there is other things like limit and all where you can specifically give your uh, price. Okay, the price you like, for example, it is 344 now. And in limit, I say I want I do not want to sell it at 344. I will sell it at 345. Let's say when the price of this share will touch 345, then the order will get executed. Correct. But for now, I'm going to sell it at the current market price. Correct. Product is delivery. Validity can be day or IFC anything. It doesn't matter. Uh, day and IFC basically it is uh, more likely to be used in the intraday trades. We are not uh, we are not talking about that. So just I will click on this review button and very important. It will now take me to the CDSL T-PIN authorization page because if you haven't submitted your power of attorney POA to Upstocks, then you will get a T-PIN from CDSL and you have to fill it which I have received through SMS and email. It is not like OTP. It will not come as SMS or email again and again whenever you place a sell transaction. Okay, your T-PIN will be generated only once and you have to use the same T-PIN for every sell transaction. So I have made a dedicated separate video for that. You can check out. So I will simply click on continue to CDSL and it will take me to the CDSL website. Here I have to enter my T-PIN and click on the verify tab, verify button. Okay. Okay. So after entering my T-PIN, I will click on the verify button and it will say that my transaction is approved. So now the sell button will appear. Correct. And I will click on this sell button and you get it. See here my sell side transaction please ignore this one okay the buy buy transaction i have shown you how to buy a share in my previous video so the same day i'm recording how to sell uh, a share okay so see here you have to check that your sell transaction is complete okay it is not in the open tabs it is in the closed tab so delivery one share so you have to ignore the positions tab completely okay i'm again saying while buying or selling a share in delivery you have to ignore the things that are happening in the positions tab correct positions tab is important when you do intraday trades swing trades okay it has nothing to do with delivery so again the brokerages and charges which are charged on upstocks i have made a separate video on that you can check that out i hope you enjoyed watching this video thanks a lot